Gray C metal roofing is an attractive, long-lasting material that installs quickly and suits even the roughest climates. Standing C metal roofs are designed for fail-safe installation, as long as you follow the manufacturer's instructions and use the proper components. In fact, you are less likely to make a mistake installing metal roofing than you are with asphalt shingles, especially with the valley and flashing installation. Let's begin the installation process. Step one is to install the starter. You run a chalk line through the starter area so that you have a straight line to install it. Cut and fasten the drip edge. The location of the fasteners are a few inches up from the edge of the eave. At the valley, cut the drip edge so it overlaps the adjacent peak. Step two, install ice and water shield and along with the membrane. As mentioned before, the best practice is to strip down the shingles and start afresh. But you could also go with putting the membrane over the existing shingles. Before the installation of any type of roof system, inspection should be done to make sure all the sheathing and framing components are in good condition and fastened properly. The entire roof should be covered with a high quality synthetic underlayment and should be installed over the main roof. Installation should be done in compliance with the building codes local to your area. Keep in mind that the building codes in this area can change from zone to zone. High temperature, non-gradual ice and water shield are also recommended. It will be required to install along eaves, rake edges, valleys, the hip, ridge assemblies, and around all roof penetrations and flashings. Step three, install the gable. Overlap drip edge at the gable so when the rake flashing is installed, it also overlaps. To do this, Cut away the lip of the flashing and score the bend line with a handbrake. Use the duckbill pliers to grip the flashing at the score line and bend to make an overlapping tab. Use a riveter to secure the overlap. Step four, install the valley. Prepare the valley fashion by laying it out on the valley and using a straight edge to mark a cut line along the eaves. Cut the flashing to create tabs that, once cut and bent, overlap the flashing.
Position the valley flashing and push down so it's fully seated in the valley. Check that its end extends past the eaves by at least an inch. Along the edge of each side, screw it in place every six inches. Step 5. Apply the expandable M seal tape. Apply two rows of expandable M seal tape to each side of the valley ridge, spacing them about 4 inches from the center. Typically, the roofing panels overlap the flashing within a minimum of 4 inches of the ridges that runs down the middle of the valley flashing. This is used to seal out dust, air, wind-driven snow, and moisture through joint details in metal buildings and roofs. Step 6. Framing the gable to the valley. Cut and snip the gable as shown to form a fit that can be used to firmly attach the gable to the valley flashing. Once the fit is tightly secured, make sure there are no pockets left open so that the roof isn't exposed to the elements. You can then screw it and cock it for extra protection. Apply caulking to seal the area between the gable and the valley and the gable to the starter wherever applicable. Step 7. Installing the panels. Not all roofs are square, so use a panel and a tape measure to mark an alignment line in the valley as shown. Since the panels will be installed in the valley, it has to be cut according to the measurement of the valley. Use a guide to mark panels at the valley. First, rough cut and position panels so they overhang the eaves properly. Then use a scrap of wood, scale at least four inches wide as a marking guide. Cut the panel. Use a cordless drill to attach the panels. Set the panel so it overhangs the eaves by an inch. Fasteners should be secured every 12 inches. On the center is typical. The fasteners have flexible washers that must be snugged down firmly. Be careful not to tighten too much.
Snap in the second panel. Metal panels install quickly, neatly locking in place with firm downward pressure. Begin locking the panel in place at the eaves and work upward. Never lock from both ends towards the center, you may create a bulge. Likewise, follow through with the rest of the panels until you reach the end of the roof or come to the valley. Cut panels lengthwise by using left and right-handed snips in tandem. Cut as shown in order to create a lip which goes underneath the eave. Step 8. Install the ridge cap. Install perforated foam which is custom made to the ridge to prevent ventilation while preventing weather and pests from getting in. Close off the end of the ridge piece by cutting and bending tabs. Chalk the overlap before pop riveting the closures. Install the piece with fasteners driven into the sanding seam.
For more videos, profiles, installation instructions, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you very much. Thank you for tuning in to Steel Canada's roofing series of installation instructions for metal roofing. Today's video is on the installation of our world-class standing seam snap line product line. 